All right, we are here at LaSalle Lake, and we are fishing this morning. We get nice little bites already. Uh, I've caught bluegill, sheephead, and catfish already within the first 15 minutes. And uh, we just like to thank God. Look at that beautiful sun rising. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for getting us up this morning, breathing air in our lungs, and opening up our eyes to get closer to you. We, we declare today it would be a prosperous day in Jesus' name for catching fish. And uh, you all have a blessed Memorial Day weekend. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. You all stay with me. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the. I'm just gonna keep it going. I'm getting getting hits all over the place now. I'm gonna see if he's gonna commit. But while that's happening, let's see if we can get some bluegill. Let's see if we can get a couple bluegill on there. All right. Get some wax worms here. I got a long shank hook so I can get it out easier. I got the, the small hooks that I usually fish with, but you know, you got to go digging deep to get them out because when they swallow it down, you don't want to hurt them if they're too small. So uh, I up the size of the, the length of the hook, and here we go. Wait a minute. This guy. <laughs> I'll tell you. Let me reel this in to see what's happening. He's hitting hard. Oh, I still got my bait. So they're uh, pulling on it. So I'm going to let him pull some more. Let me get it back out here. All right. We are out and about. Now let's get over here and see if we can catch a blue viewer. I'm fishing with my super ultra light bluegill slayer and my micro reel. It's a micro rod, micro reel. And a four pound test line. Just the bead and the shot. And I'm gonna walk it off these rocks and we're gonna see what hits. I felt that. He liked that. He likes that. See if we can get us a big bluegill over here. I hope he didn't clear the uh, hook already. He did bump it twice. See if there's anything attractive left on it. He might have. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Must be a small amount left on there. Let's reel that up and see what we got. Yeah, just a little bitty dot. Let me make that more interesting. See that long shank hook right there? That long shank hook. Okay. See if we can get some more action. Let's catch a fish. Coming right off the rocks. Let's see what we can get. Is anybody over there? Come right off those rocks. That was a nice snatch, and he cleaned it on that snatch. These are some professional bank robbers. Uh oh, I'm getting some action over here. My, my long eight foot six bait caster, my Berkeley rod. Let's see if they come in over here. That hasn't been touched in a minute. I'm gonna bait this hook up real quick while we wait on this one. Boots ready to go out and have fun. All right.
Let's bait you up. I'm in action over here. I don't want to turn around. Right now, I might, might have a fish on, but you know something? I'm going to be a little greedy. We'll work some more bluegill over here. Fish on. Just tossed it in. Just, oh, he let that go. That was a fly by night, I tell you. Let's see if we can get another one like that. Let's see if we can get another one to commit. Don't get some of it. Fish on. Fish on. He got a nice fight. Nice fight on him. Nice fight. Run on around. I'll let you get a little tired. Put you on a treadmill. Oh, we got a nice gill. Let's look at this gill. Yes. That's a nice gill. All right. Let's get us some more of these. I ain't giving away a wax worm if I get a fish on the other year. Excuse me as I bend over to get to my, my basket. But I got four fish so far, four keepers. I threw back two small catfish. And uh, we're going to get back on the game. These other lines are kind of limping. I hope uh, the fish swallowed the hook and uh, just sitting there waiting for me to reel it in so he can then put up the fight right when he gets to the bank. You know how they do it. Right now he's just like, I hope that guy don't pull his rod in. Because I don't feel like going to a hot skillet today. All right, let's cast out for another bluegill. Let's see if we can get something. Fishing off the rocks. I know they're bedding up over here. I know they're bedding up over here. Fish on. Fish on. Nice fight. He's running around the globe. He's running around the globe. Let's see if we can get him up. Yes, we. Oh, he spit it out. He spit it out. Let's see if we can get it again. I don't want to set it too hard and rip their whole face off. <laughs> He's just like, I don't want to go with you. I said, I understand. Uh-oh. Somebody's going to come. There's some more out there that's hungry. Come on, take a bite. Well, they got it down to, oh, I got a, a bite on my eight foot six bait caster I think they're just slowly ripping that worm off of there I think they're slowly ripping this worm off uh oh and I'm getting a bite over here on my cherry oh I'm getting hit on both sides isn't that amazing <laughs> that's amazing I got my cherry chicken breast and I got my garlic night crawl over here. And I await someone to commit and swallow that hook. I'm going to pull it in when it's bending. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Let me get this uh, bluegill set up together. You all are whacking away at it. I need you to swallow that hook. If you do that, then you can get a free ride home with Ron and the crew fishing with Team Smith. I know you really don't know me, but you will if you hit that hook.
Fish on. Fish on. Oh, he's got some kick to him. He's got some kick. Don't put no slack in the line. You can get that gill. All right, nice gill. You going in the basket today. We're going to keep you. Oh, this is uh, nicely hooked in here. Let me get my pliers. Because this guy needs a little medical attention. And I don't want to hurt you. I got you out. And you're not bleeding. Good stuff. All right. Basket up. You get one at a time. You slowly. So excuse all of the wind and all this good stuff, but it is a windy day when they said it just be 10 mile an hour wind right on the water. It's like 15, 15 to 17 mile an hour wind. So I'm going to check those other hooks to see if I got any bait left on them or did they just uh, smash and grab. I'll pull those in momentarily. Let's get out for another bluegill while we wait. While we wait. Fish on. Wait a minute, I think I'm hung up, but a fish was pulling that. Fish was pulling it. And uh, he just kinda, I'm gonna let some line out. Let's see if he can uh, come away from around whatever he got up under. Because I did feel the fish hit. I felt it hit. Let's see if, no, I'm hung up. Oh, you know what I, when it kind of pulls back, I don't believe it's just a branch. I believe it's a fish wrapped around something. But if not, I'm going to get this on off. Oh, it's a fish. It is a fish. He was pulling the line. I'm going to let him come out because he's under something. So I'm going to let some line out and let him run out. He might be hit. He might be stuck. Let's see if that hook is in them good enough to hold them. So what I'm gonna do now is check this rod and reel. I got my bait caster for my big catfish. Whoa, what happened there? I was getting hit while I was getting ready to reel it in. I gotta check this, well there's still something on here so they're just pulling. Cast this chicken back. That's the cherry, the cherry jello I got on that chicken breast. And uh, it's been getting some attention. All I gotta do now is uh, commit to uh, swallowing that, swallowing that hook. back to you because this other rod is getting hit and I want to see if something is on it. They just striking and striking and striking. This is my eight foot six Berkeley rod. It's a lightning rod. And I 
got 12 pound test line on it and I got my uh, Lexon <laughs> 300 HSP let's check out and see if there's anything here no oh, they had fun on that one just a little bit left just a little bit left it's picking their way through that look at that look at that he ate that all the way up to the to the hook to the curve in the, in the hook I'm gonna have to probably break that line over there so I can uh and there's something still pulling on it that's why I'm kind of scared to oh he must have got out because he's pulling it he's pulling it let's see if he got out it's under something and on the other side of something. I gotta let him give me some room to pull that all the way. I'm just gonna leave it here. Last time I turned around, it was just bent. The rod was just bent across the top. So I'm going to. Uh... Oh, oh! I was wondering where you was at. Come on, Speedy, because he's sure hitting that. He was waiting on you. Go on, get your fish. That rod was bending. He let loose? Well, I can tell you, that was bending. And first thing I done, I started looking around. And I said, I don't see you. He was duck down over there on the side. Yes. When they pull that slow, like, yeah, you know what the you know what it is. Yeah, that was a Ferilla Marilla. Well, let's get you back out here. That's a nice cast. Now let's go check on our 